Good day, everyone. Keith Allen here with Obstacle Racing Media, and I'm here to talk about wetsuit. The good news, it's only 50 cents. If you're running a 12-hour Toughest Mudder, 24-hour World's Toughest Mudder, a Spartan Ultra Beast, or the 24-hour Spartan Ultra Championship, you might have thought about getting a wetsuit. If you're talking OCR and wetsuits, you're basically looking at three kinds of suits. Number one, the surf suit. Number two, triathlon suit. And number three, the swim run suit. If you're looking at a surf suit, there are so many different options out there. The number one thing you want to look at is how stretchy is the material. You want to look out for keywords like four-way stretch. Stretch Armstrong, Stretchy McStretcherson, stuff like that. If it's not stretchy, it's going to constrict you, it's going to tax your system more, it's going to make your body work harder, and you're going to hate every second of it. The second thing you're going to look at is the thickness. The thicker the wetsuit, the warmer you are. The thicker the suit, the more constricted you'll be. It's a trade-off. A 3-2, you're going to move better, but you might be colder. A 5-4, you're going to be warmer, but it's going to be harder to move. You have to figure out that sweet spot. If you're not sure what the weather's going to be like, some people bring multiple suits. A 3-2 if it's not terribly cold, a 5-4 if it gets really cold, like Atlanta in 2018. Last thing I'll say about surf suits is that they are the most durable. They're built for people who are surfing all the time. They have knee pads, they're made to be knocked around, and they do last longer to the rigors of an obstacle course race than the other options out there. Tri-suit is another popular option. What people look for there is sort of the versatility of it's a thicker suit in the front, typically not as thick in the arms and not as thick in the back. There's more movement there because folks doing triathlons are moving their arms and swimming. The downside for me with the tri-suit is it does not hold up. I wore a tri-suit my first year, it was destroyed. Holes in the leg, holes in the crotch, holes everywhere. And lastly, the swim run suit. This is sort of a newer development over the last two or three years. Swim run suits are popular amongst folks that are moving faster, typically in contention for prize money. Uh, it's a, basically a shorty, it's got zippers in the front, zippers in the back. Sometimes you have long sleeves, sometimes short sleeves, but ultimately it gives a lot more mobility to folks. The downside, if you're not moving fast, you're not typically going to be warm enough in one. So pick a swim run suit if you're very confident in moving fast for an entire event. Now, my buddy, Matthew B. Davis, got me in touch with the good people over at Wetsuit Warehouse who saw my article a couple years ago on the Hyperflex Cyclone 2, and they sent me the updated model, the Hyperflex Viral. So this is the Hyperflex Viral. This particular model is a 4.3. I have the Cyclone in a 3.2. That's my go-to suit. But Atlanta was cold last year. The dew was freezing or shutting down obstacles. I think that if that happens again, which is a long shot, I'm going to need something thicker than a 3.2. So I got the 4.3 with sealed seams. As far as I'm concerned, if you're buying a wetsuit and you're not getting it with sealed seams, you're wasting your time, you're wasting your money. The sealed seams basically allow the wetsuit to keep you warmer without having to add thickness. As I mentioned earlier, one thing I love about surf suits is knee pads. These events, you're crawling, you're climbing over walls, your knees are hitting into things. The knee pads allow your wetsuit to last longer. It's a rougher material, it's not the straight neoprene. This suit comes in a multitude of different options. It comes in men's, it comes in women's. It comes in a lot of different thicknesses. If I were you and you search Hyperflex Viral, I would focus on 3.2 or 4.3 sealed. They sell them on sealed, so make sure they say sealed. A link to the products in the description. If you have any questions, shoot us a message at Obstacle Racing Media. Leave a comment on the video. We're going to be doing a video on layers soon, so if you have any questions on that, shoot them over. But in the meantime, Seacrest out.